begin to address this issue. Fairfax County Public um, Schools Superintendent Karen Garza presented the advertised FY 2017 budget to the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors on Friday, February 26th. After years of cuts, Dr. Garza maintains that any further reductions are unsustainable and that this is the time to invest in competitive teacher salaries and the reduction of class size. For salary alone, just salary alone, I'm not talking about all compensation, but for salary, salary alone, if we wanted to get to the market average, it would take a total of $91 million. To compete head-to-head -head with Arlington County, and, and I might point out that Arlington's not first in every comparison group, but let's just say, let's take Arlington on and let's be competitive with Arlington. That would take an additional $186 million. We're not asking for that amount of money, but we are asking for $40 million to get us started. And for the first time ever, and I reported this to you all in November when we were here, uh, for the first time ever, we started this school year off with 200 open, openings, 200 vacancies in our schools. That has never happened before in the history of FCPS. And you can ask many of the principals here in this room, they will tell you it's due to the fact that they have, we are no longer competitive uh, with teacher salaries. Um, and for example, in the last two years, Mount Vernon High School and Woodson High School lost eight, two, eight teachers uh, to surrounding jurisdictions. Longfellow lost six in the last two years. Beech Tree Elementary School lost 12. Um, and we could just give you one example after the other because we're talking the difference of thirteen dollars to $15,000, and that's really hard um, to, to fight against. And teachers will tell you, I don't want to leave FCPS, but that's just too much money for me to, to turn away. So that's uh, something we're very, very concerned about. And we believe that even losing one of our best teachers or losing any teacher, uh, that we've invested so much time, energy, and uh, with regard to training and preparation, is just not acceptable. You, like the school board, like this leadership team, we want to do what's best uh, for our children. Um, so I would just say that you know we want to continue to work with you, and certainly we recognize that this is such an important year for our system, and we're really at the crossroads. And we just really wanted to, you know, you're going to help us determine which path we go, but do we continue to cut to the point of uh, where we don't no longer recognize our system? or to begin the slow process of continuing to support and sustain excellence in our schools. We recognize that these are very difficult decisions, but we ask for your support and we you know, stand with you as we move forward and make these important decisions. In order to meet the most basic FCPS budget needs, the schools have asked the county to increase its typical transfer of 3% to 6.7%. The school board will present its budget to the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday, April 5th. The Fairfax County Board of Supervisors will hold public hearings on the budget on April 5th through April 7th. Additional information about participating in the budget process and the complete budget calendar is available online.